What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another early signing day video uh, brought to you by CampusToCanton.com. I am Matt Bruning, and we have got you covered on a ton of the great prospects and top-notch prospects coming out in 2022. I have the privilege of talking to you guys a little bit about the Crimson Tide's new quarterback commit, Ty Simpson. Ty has been kind of the forgotten kid in this class. He's extremely talented, but because he committed so early and has honestly stayed committed to Alabama, he's really kind of been flying under the radar. Simpson is out of Martin, Tennessee and attended Westview High School. His rankings, as you can see next to me, at 24-7 Sports, they have him at QB4, the 36th national ranked player. Rivals had him at QB3, the 31st national player. ESPN has him at QB2, 31st national player. And On3 has him at QB3, QB, I'm sorry, 33rd national player. So as you can see, almost everyone here is in lockstep for the most part on Simpson. We have him as our QB12. I have him at QB7, so a little bit lower than those guys, uh, but a little bit higher. Some of the other guys are bringing him down, but five-star quarterback prospect. I mean, he he's going to be really good for Alabama here. And looking at his history, I mean, he's really kind of been – all, top 50 almost the entire time. Back in 2019, which I believe is like the first time he kind of popped up on the recruiting radars, he was coming in at 97 rating, 57th player overall. After that, he hasn't dropped below 50. Last year in 20, or oh, sorry, two years ago. Yeah, last year in 2020, 50 in the 30s, going up all the way up into the 20s earlier this season, and then has settled in at a 98 rating with a 24th national ranked player for. 24-7 sports before finally setting in as settling in as the 36th national ranked player. So what are the Crimson Tide getting from Simpson at quarterback? One of my favorite things when I'm looking at quarterbacks is their pocket presence, and Simpson has that in spades. Simpson is a great version of the new age quarterback. He does a great job extending plays and buying time, and he consistently does a good job of keeping his eyes downfield and looking to make a pass. If that does not happen or if nothing is there, he can burn you with his legs. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see some RPOs with Simpson at the next level with Alabama because he is a real threat with his legs against defenses. Simpson can throw to all three levels of the field, but I don't know that he has top-tier arm strength. He seems to be lacking a bit uh, with that fastball and doesn't always change speed on his throws. He is also adept at throwing from multiple arm angles. So what does this commitment mean for Alabama? Well, they continue to bring in top recruits. That's what. Obviously, chances are Heisman Award winner Bryce Young is going to leave after this coming season in 2022, which would then come down to who is the battle for the current backup between Jalen Monroe, who was a four-star in last year's class, and then Ty Simpson this year. Milrow can do a lot of the same things Simpson can do. Bama typically has a complicated playbook, so that might give the edge to Milrow next season. I think there's a real possibility that Milrow wins the backup job and starts as a junior and then leaves for the NFL, while Simpson does the exact same thing. Regardless, we know for sure, outside of some injury, that it will be Bryce Young's team in 2022, and Simpson is a very intriguing player at the quarterback position. For drafts, because of Bama's name, I think Simpson is likely at worst a round two pick in freshman and supplemental drafts, and he's likely worth that spot. Even if he has to sit for a season, he's got the tools and the upside in going to a school like Alabama where he'll likely produce. In C2C startups right now, he is consistently going around the 10th round. That's a bit early for me as there are guys like J.J. McCarthy, Devin Brown, whom I do have rated higher in this class, Phil Jerkovic, Grayson McCall are all going after him. That being said, if you want the starting quarterback from Alabama, you'll have to take him in round 10 or a little bit before. That is it for our early look here at Ty Simpson. Guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon so that you are made aware when all of these videos go live. We'll have a ton more players coming as early signing day has wrapped up as some as the past couple days. But we're going to have a continuous amount of these profiles dropping before we jump into full-on freshman profiles at the beginning of the year. Stay tuned into all campusdecanton.com video content, YouTube channel, and check out the website as can at campstocant.com and drop some likes. We really appreciate it. If you like the videos, drop some comments in there. Tell us what you do and don't like uh, about these players, and we will 